Ruth here, and here is Cherry Wallace's curation of magical curiosities, wizardry box, power by Geek Gear. This is the Maxima edition because it comes with four extra items. Yep. Let's do this. So uh, I guess we'll just open this one first. Might as well. If I can get it open. At the first one stroke, lead your partner to the dance floor. At the second one stroke, Yule beverage will be served. At the third one stroke, Yule feast will be served. At the fourth one stroke, Witch and Wizard of the Ball will be announced. At the fifth one stroke, Yule parade and parade of wand skills. And at the six one stroke, Final Yule Dance, then good night to all our very special guests. Strictly dressed to impress, see Professor McGonagall for details. So it's like a poster slash notice. That was pretty cool. Um, kind of hard to show you when it's... That's pretty cool. Okay. So that's that one. So I'm just going to back up the time meeting and stick it back in here. Okay. So that was that. Um, she's sit over there for now. Okay, let's see what's inside. Ooh. Let's see if I can put this fire. Happy Christmas nipple. Interesting. Okay, on the back, it's got a long note. His dear friend. I couldn't risk sending Henrik ever since the World Cup. The ministry. The ministry's been intercepting more and more owls, and she's too easily recognized. That's serious bark. Quote. I guess. Um that reminds me. Did you feed the owl upon arrival? It's quite cold this winter, and it's fun quite the journey to get to you. I can't believe the festive season has arrived. It's the most wonderful time of the year, don't you think? This year has been filled with such magic, and our community is thriving. Our wizarding world has some of the most incredible, passionate, and kind-hearted wizards and witches within it. And I'd like to say a huge thank you for all of your support with the curation of Magical Curiosities this year. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very magical New Year. Always cherry. So that's what the note was. And this has got, as you see, some wiggly worms, but these are red, green, and gold. Or brown. I can't, can't really tell. Anyway, that's, you know, what that is. So I'm just going to directly dump this into the recycling box I have right next to me. It's 
so I don't mess up my desk on the floor. So, well, the most of them anyway. I don't wanna make a mess out of it. It's like a box. That's wrapped up in a box with this. Sorry, that my battery died. Okay, so let's see what's inside here. Board. So it could be a chess piece. That'd be awesome. And it is. It's a red king chess piece, I think. That is a king, isn't it? Or is it a bishop? It's lovely made, I anyway. That's awesome. My first one too. I'm guessing it's a king because that's about that. Right. And bishops more have those pointy hats than a crown like. Okay, so next up we have is this box that looks like a little parcel. Owl Post Service, <laughs> September 91. Okay. I wonder what this is. Ooh! Not for replica. Nothing to remember on. That's cool. There's no smoke or anything in it, but still, that's cool. <laughs> Obviously, there's no smoke in it. Okay. Yep, there's no opening or anything. Just a little thing to put on your desk. That is cool. Obviously it's a wreath with, ooh, it's got some gems in, on it, and a stitch down there, there's a Deathly Hollow symbol there, awesome, there's a lightning bolt on Harry's glasses, got a few of Harry's glasses and lightning bolts and a snitch and some stars, and now obviously there's a H up there, it's a very, very 
cool wreath pin. Awesome. Very festive. I love it. So far that's like my favorite thing in the box actually. Like the double stacking. Uh, it's awesome. Okay, so next. Um, we'll get to the wrap thing last, shall we? Well, this isn't in a box, so I'll show you here. Here we have a trippy pen wall thing. And it's like one of these like this. Uh, bunch of things, but I am going to stick on the wall. Christmas Harry, Happy Christmas Ron, so I'll say, uh, maybe from Molly Weasley type of packaging this is. I can get it open. funny if Harry's name began with an L because then it'd be a left and right. <laughs> but uh, it's like they're knitted jumpers, but they're gloves. And let me just put one on, see how comfortable it is. If I can get my hand in it. What is this? It's like a generic one size fit all uh, glove type of thing. Pretty warm. Where's my <laughs> my pinky's a bit short, so <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's very nice. Quite warm it is. So that's cool. Super cool. And you wouldn't expect that in a separate box, that's for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Next up, we've got an envelope. What is this? It's a very shiny envelope, that's for sure. Ooh, that's cool. I was gonna the back. Okay, cool. Says your ball. Ooh, that's awesome. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Together with the Ministry of Magic, request the pleasure of your company at the Yule Ball to celebrate Christmas and, and the Triwizard Tournament. To be held at 1900 hours, Christmas Day at the Great Hall, Hogwarts School. At 21.30 hours, the traditional champions waltz strictly dress to impress. And there's, that is so pretty, all that lovely silver foiling. Look at that, and now we see these Ministry of Magic and Hogwarts crest stamped there. This is awesome. And there's gold foiling on the in the front and the back. The Yule Ball is continuously written in the, in the middle there. That is absolutely awesome. I mean, that is an awesome invitation to get anyway. So shiny. <laughs> so that was superb. No question is. I'm gonna get it back inside. Okay. And I don't 
before I introduced it earlier, the envelope itself is pretty shiny. Glossy. Well, that's awesome. This is my second favorite, I think. I'm just put it back in there just to make sure it is safe. So there's a print down here. Hmm. Let's move this. Ooh. Okay, I dropped another thing. <laughs> Let's see, so this Okay, I'll have to pick those up later. <laughs> Alright, so this... is the awesome... How? Look at it. It's awesomely painted. Doesn't seem to be signed or anything though. So, next up, we have this in bubble wrap. So, I'm guessing this will be fragile. Off. It looks like a pumpkin to be honest. I mean, does it not look like a pumpkin? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be a pumpkin, but... That's pretty cool. Then we have a... Uh, holographic foiled snowflake. And like a, uh, a blue stained bottom of the jar, um, it's not a jar, a jar, it's a glass bottle, I guess. That is awesome. So cool. Well, I'm going to briefly wrap it back up because there's still one more thing. Have a look see yet. I don't want to actually drop it or anything. <laughs> Not that it seems I can even get it back in the box. Okay, so uh it's a cool box though too. It's like a 
kind of the silhouette of the uh, imitation thing. Okay. So this, I'm guessing, is a scarf. Purple ribbon too. Keeping that. Um, <laughs> oh. It is a scarf. And it's got tassels. In... What is it? Shall we say autumn light colors, is it? That is like autumn colors, isn't it? Got some orangey brown, green, white, yellowy gold, dark brown, light brown. That's reminds me of an autumny type of color, right? It does feel comfortable though. It's very nicely knitted. Lovely. Okay, so let's see the cheat sheet as I call it. And it is only one cheat this time. <laughs> huh. Maxima box edition like. See? This is what it looks like. So Okay, so Molly Weasley knitted scarf. Yes. Uh, have you ever wanted to be a Weasley? Designed to look like the like the ones given to Fred and George during Christmas dinner at number twelve Grimaud Place in Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix. Now you can feel like part of the family. And the flying key ornament. The flying keys from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone are some of my favorite props. You can adorn your tree with your very own flying key. No broomsticks required to catch it. What would the blah, what would this time of year be without all of the festive decorations? Oh, and did you spot the Deathly Hollow symbol? I actually did. Um Wizard's chess piece. The first the I keep missing words when I read. At uh, the moment I first discovered Wizard's Chess, I really wanted to play a game. This is a replica of one of the Queen pieces you see Harry and Ron playing with at Christmas in 1991. That's totally barbaric. That's Wizard's Chess. That's the sorry quotes. Um, oh, it's the Queen. Okay. I mean, it could be the Queen or the King, but I thought the King had a beard and mustache, so that does not, so yeah. <laughs> anyway. Howler artwork. Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? <laughs> um, I really enjoyed painting my Mandrake artwork for my previous box, so I thought I'd do another one this time. I've always been incredibly fond of Howlers, though I'm, not, I'm sure Ron would disagree. Yes, I think anyone would disagree. <laughs> so being shouted at that level. <laughs> Like burst in your drum or something. Anyway, remember all. Don't worry if your remember all hasn't turned red. It just indicates you haven't forgotten anything. We can't all be forgetful as Neville. No, you can. Um, this is a particularly useful magical artifact with some pretty remarkable powers, and I wanted you to have one for when you enter a new year. Start off your year organized and make her money proud. Keep this item out of muggle hands, and definitely keep it away from Draco Malfoy. Uh-huh. Chudley Cannon's Quidditch Team Flag. Show your support for one of the best Quidditch teams out there. Well, according to Ron, at least. This flag was designed to look like the one proudly displayed in the Gryffindor Boys' uh, dormitory next to Ron's bed. What Quidditch team would you support? Hmm. For me, I don't really into sports, so I'd pick none, really. Um, <clears throat> Mule Ball Invitation, designed by Danny, 
from Muggle Magic DIY. He is awesome. His DIYs and stuff. Do check him out on YouTube uh, and Instagram. Um, this stunning Yule Ball invitation is one of my favorite paper replicas. It has been an amazing honor to have such a talent, talented wizard's work inside this box. And I'm so excited to be able to share it with you all. Not only is there gold foiling, there's silver too. Nifflers are definitely going to want to steal this, so keep it safe. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I've got my... I got my baby one right here. See? Uh, anyway, <laughs> just a side thing. And let me just tell you, this Niffler is super soft because it was from the uh, the, the Japanese uh, Kuji thing. It is super soft. Super, super soft! And like, I mean, much softer than the ones I've found here in the UK anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, uh, the last thing under the Yule Ball invitation. Do you have your dress robes or dresses ready? You know, the only time I've ever really, really worn a dress, ever since I've been in this country, I think, was like a proper dress, like made, custom made, was for the prom in, in sixth form, and that was more than five years ago. I think it was like 2012, I think. It, it was a long, long time ago. <laughs> I haven't worn it since. <clears throat> Anyway, yes, my absolute favorite thing. Hogwarts Wreath Enamel Pin. Merlin Spirit, this is another stunning hard enamel pin designed by one of my favorite witches, Amelia. Wear your house pride this season with this pin that encompasses all Hogwarts houses with a beautiful, within a beautiful festive wreath. Oh, and Jenny dear, I'm awfully sorry, but my quill must have been cursed last time, as I previously spelled to Amelia's Instagram wrong. If you'd like to check out Amelia's magical work, you can find her at Instagram.com forward slash Amelia B83. That is lovely. See, all the houses and the gems, like, four gems on there. Anyway, Yule Ball Bottle, so that's, that's this thing. Did you see how luxurious the Yule Ball was in 1994? I don't know about you, but I certainly wanted to be there. Around the towering ice sculpture, there were glass pumpkin juice bottles. Ah, oh, that's why there's a pumpkin on top. The, <laughs> um, <laughs> um... And I've always thought how brilliant they'd look within a collection of Wizarding World items. Do you think you'd like pumpkin juice? I'm personally not sure I'd like it. Maybe I'd need to make some... to find out. Hey, Harry and Ron Christmas gloves. The knitted jumpers that Molly Weasley made for Ron and for Harry and Ron are iconic. Unfortunately, I couldn't convince her to knit you all a jumper. She's She's already got her hands full having to look after all the Weasleys. But I hope these Molly-inspired gloves will keep your hands warm this winter. Another magical uh, Yule Ball poster. Another magical treat that has been designed by Danny from Muggle Magic DIY. I love the Yule Ball invitation so much that I couldn't resist including more of Danny's work. Add a little more festive magical to your home this festive season. And that is everything. That is all what it was. Yeah. An awesome, awesome. I loved everything, probably apart from the Chubby Cans thing, because I'm not really into sport, sporty things at all. But I love everything, basically. And like, see, from the last box, I, I still have. The Philosopher's Stone being taken care of by the Niffler and the twine it was wrapped in. <laughs> um, anyway, this 
Oh, was absolutely stunning. Now I can go watch Cherry unbox her own box now because I kept off watching it until I opened this. So I wanted to be surprised what was in it. Okay. So which stuff did you like best? I mean, this was my favorite favorite. Then the next was the Yule Ball replica invitation because I I love shiny things. The next one I loved is the flying key ornament. Then the gloves and your ball bottle. Then, then the uh, remember all. Well, the chest piece. Then the remember all. Oh, and the the print for that. And then then the the scarf. And yeah, because the only gloves and scarves I actually have that's Harry Potter related are my two Slytherin ones. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, all of it is absolutely fantastic. I love shiny things. But anyway, that's that's it. So, um, obviously I'll do some pictures at the end, but thank you for watching. I can't wait until she comes out with another box. If there's going to be another box next year, that'd be awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Over and out.